Hi, I'm going to be showing you about groundwater. I set up an example of a chunk of earth, the soil and the rocks underneath. This hose represents precipitation, and this represents the top of the earth, this represents, you know, the ground, underground. Now we're going to get this wet which is representing precipitation, which is recharge to groundwater, which you, which you could think of as recharging the groundwater. Let's see what happens. You can see the it's kind of starting to saturate. Now let's stop here for a second. The water on top is called the water table. The soil represents the saturation zone, which is the uh, which um, is the zone where the water gets all saturated, obviously, and respectively it goes into the aquifer, which is represented by the rock. I'll wait for it to get saturated. Oh, there it goes. See, is it doing anything? A little bit more. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but the water is trying to go in the gravel. Wait for that to soak up a little bit. Oh, see? Water is accumulated on the bottom. That's called the aquifer. And that's where we get our groundwater from. Slowly going up as the water on as the water table goes into the ground. Now, we use groundwater for a lot of things, like when, if you could tap into it with wells or pumps or whatever, you, it's mostly used for irrigation for crops, but we use most of it for, well, we use a lot of it for drinking too. And that's my groundwater experiment. Thank you.